I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. Here we are at PT Welding over in La Crescent, Minnesota, picking up some steel. Buy a lot of steel from John and his father. Gonna go in and pick up an order, get a couple more last minute items, see what John has to say, and then head back to the shop. Hey John, before we come in, I brought the cameras along today because every time I tell people how nice of a guy you are, they don't believe me. Let's show them right now how nice of a guy you are. <laughs> today in the mail our 
paint. This comes from the coating store. We've used it in the past. Excellent product. But prepared to get peanuts. More peanuts. More peanuts. Now that we have one box open, that's where we can put them. What's really cool about the coating store is, well, I suppose it's just like everybody else. They do include in every shipment a data sheet on each and every product. What we're doing today is we're just doing a spray out, real small spray out, because we're ordering, oh that's a great bread, we're ordering the material for the interior seats. And I want to make sure the reds are very, very close to each other, because I don't want two totally different reds, because being close is worse than being in two different zip codes. It just looks terrible. We picked out a interior two weeks ago, I think, or a week ago, and it matched this. So we'll do the spray out, take it up, double verification that it's a good color, and then we will take and get the material on order. I was up at Matt's today at Rags, picked out the actual design that we're gonna be doing on the interior. And uh, so now he's starting to shape the foam. And I just have to give him the thumbs up that the red is a good red. And then he'll order the material in Monday of next week. All right, once again, we're using your chem from you, the coating store for the base coat. According to the data sheets, we're using two parts base coat to one yard part reducer. We're using the fast reducer because it's colder outside. Nothing like yesterday at negative 29, but it's chillier. So yes, fill the base coat up to number one because we're just doing a spray out. You don't need a lot. So on two to one, then you fill up the second part up to the number one there. And that's all there is to it. Then you stir it really well, and then we'll put that in the paint gun, and we will do our spray out. Now the spray out goes on a card like this, black and white, and you keep going, even coats, and so like this color is probably gonna take three coats. So the red, you don't see any white on this side or the letters, and on this side, you don't see any black. You want an even color. So then you know how many coats of the base coat it's gonna to take to cover up everything evenly. So in the white, the black, you don't see a variation line right there any longer. When that's done, you know you have enough coats. So that's what our goal is today. Find out how many coats of paint it takes to give us an even color, and then do the color match on the interior that we're gonna order on Monday, all right? Liquid with you, it's flashed out correctly. 
Let's go to hole number three. Three coats. You can barely see the difference, but you can see the difference. So this paint is going to take four coats to get full coverage. And I'm putting it on just like you would on a car. One coat, and then the second coat, so it overlaps. That's actually just one coat, even though it's two or three passes. But that's coat number three. Coat number four will be done. Okay, we're on coat number four, more than likely the very last coat that's going to be needed. And uh, we'll have full coverage. So one last coat, we'll get it done. Okay, so four coats of paint, we have full coverage. You no longer see the difference between the black side and the white side. You don't see the writing up there. Put a little bit of paint down here on the stick again, so I'll know when it flashes with my finger without sticking it in the middle of that. Now we have to do the exact same thing as we did with the, the color. We have to wait for the clear. We have to wait for this to flash. Been averaging about seven, eight minutes. After it flashes, we'll put on the clear. I believe I'm gonna put four coats of clear on this, because again, it's just a spray out. What we would typically do on a show car is we'll put almost sometimes five or six coats on there because after we color sand it and buff it to make it perfect we only end up with three maybe four coats left on there and that's what they recommend so right now i'm just doing it for depth and clarity and color comparisons to the material that we're going to use for the inside seats and uh, we'll go forward clears are next put four coats on Leave it for today, take it over on Monday, compare it to the material we're ordering, and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If it doesn't match, we'll just find something else. Just want to give you an update on the frame of the Crown Victoria. Show you what we've done. We took out a section of the frame, and we put in a one quarter inch steel plate set the exact same size as the interior dimension of the frame. So that quarter inch plate goes all the way up to here and goes all the way down to there. So there's a sleeve in there so it's not just where the step is on the cab it goes all the way across. Now that's probably everything that we need to keep this frame stable but I like to overdo things when it comes to safety so we're going to tack, well, weld this piece on, on the back side of the frame. And again, that's going to go from one end to the other. The other side, we already have it done. So over here, you can see all the way across, we put a three quarter inch by inch and a half inch steel pipe, eighth inch sidewall, just to stiffen up that frame. Again, it's probably not needed, but always err on the side of safety. One side down, one to go. Watch your eyes. Completely welded and solid weld. I'll do down each side and underneath. And that will be better than what this was when it was new. Should be nice and stiff, nice and safe. This part of the frame is definitely tied in with the front part of the frame. Again, the quarter inch steel goes all the way back to here, all the way into the front. This thing is really tied together. I'm not even worried about any more going down the road. So 
If you're gonna do this at home, where you take out the step area like what we did, please go overboard on the structural stability, err on the safe side, make it stronger when it needs to be, versus just chancing it. All right, again, Chris with Legendary Customs. Hope you're learning step by step by what we're going for. And uh, we, we take something that's pretty ordinary and make it legendary. Stay tuned for more. Remember, like us on our Facebook page, follow us on our YouTube channel, and follow us on the Instagram. All right? Take it easy. Appreciate it.